where we are dealing. Oh god. Okay, so the the Sundra Me Brawler, the Ron Swanson, we actually haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> That's a great meme. I have not I have not ever seen that meme. The unfortunate thing, well, this is all over Cincinnati. Like if you have a switch that you regularly take to tournaments, you probably have Ron Swanson on it. Because he has played on your switch and he has put Ron Swanson onto your switch. But this is me, brawler. Um, Sundra, me, brawler, main. The unfortunate thing for Sundra tonight is that uh, Jay Birdie has a ton of me, brawler experience. He does. He He's Marvel. been playing against Squiggles' me, brawler right, like Squiggles. two or three times a week for about six months now. If no, if anyone knows how to play against me, brawler, it is specifically Jay Birdie. Because uh, Sun I mean, Squiggles hates going Lucas against Pac Man. He much prefers the me, brawler. He pretty get himself a bell. Yup, oh, gets there you go. and is able to combo it too. Now that he's out of hit stun, another bell will hit. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, all right, all right. G Birdie just walking around with a bell. Terrifying, dude. And Sundra's trying to keep him away by throwing the, the better fireball at him. Air covers that neutral get. Okay, a that little ballsy move very from J Birdie just continuing to hook it. Got no kill. See ya. I really like, well, I mean, Sundra kind of had the right idea. He was trying to do a lot of shield pressure onto Jay Birdie by doing a dash attack that would break the Hydrant. And of course it worked, but like, if Jay Birdie just holds shield, it doesn't break. Yeah. He's trying to scare Jay Birdie when Jay Birdie is literally one of the coolest ice cold oh, FFs. That was a, that was a great, uh, great combo there. Okay, you only say that because you, you don't see this combo once a game for six months in a row, every single time Jay Birdie plays. I, I've never seen Jay Birdie play. I, I have a 2-0, I have a, a 1-0 record on him on Wi-Fi though. I'm gonna doubt that, but I don't have the time to look it up on Smash data, because the last time you said that you had a winning record on someone, it was against me, and it turned out that we've literally never played before. Great right, Smash by Jay Birdie there. But yeah, that Galaga combo into uh, a couple forward airs oh. is pretty oh, okay. powerful. You get to see it a lot. In fact, if he hits it on like a heavy, he can very much put on a 60 or more percent just off the one move. He really, I, I'm kind of struggling on what Sundra's plan is right now. He tried to land with uh, landing oh. up air earlier in order to combo into an up B, but I suppose raw up B will be able to kill at this percent. Grabs the Galaga. Jay Birdie not going to get anything off of it, though. Sundra's sitting on top of a platform, realizing that he can't do much, but while Jay Birdie is ice cold, he's pretty aggressive. He's not just going to sit behind his Hydrant. He loves pressing buttons. He has a ton of fun pressing them because Pac-Man has some damn good buttons. Sundra with the orange, just throwing it away. Not going to worry about that whatsoever. J Birdie is happy to sit behind his uh, Hydra for a bit, you know, charge the fruit. But he's not just going to wait for you to approach him. Look at that, oh, that Sundra! Was, that was a great upbeat. That was good. And that taunt. Sundra, he, he is feeling confident. You know he, what that taunt. He's like, I got this cave now. He got his own Galaga combo there. That is one of the most creative. Waiting for him to drop shield. <laughs> that, was, that, that was great patience. That was great patience. Oh, yeah, Sundra. Yeah, Sundra knowing enough to uh, combo off that move. Hell, I I don't. You don't see a lot of characters get their own get their kill moves off of Pac-Man stuff. Sure, so, if uh, Gabriel is gonna stay back now, then now that he's at one stock, he is. Okay, definitely. Yes, Gabriel is going to farm as much as he can for this bell because this right here, this is win condition. If he has that bell in his hand, he's winning. So he just needs to keep Sundra away long enough is to spending, work it. Spending a lot of time as Hydrant without is getting rid of the Hydrant. And that aggressive up air. Yeah, the Hydrant, all it does is give Jay Birdie, you know, opportunities uh, to charge the fruit that he wants. Bouncing off of the fruit, back air, throwing it away, and that's Jay, Jay Birdie's time. There it uh, is, he's got a key. Uh, max Rage, which is... Gotta be careful around the... Uh... Bell. Perhaps? Pac yeah, back throw though. might kill. And then the apple, yeah. He apple threw it into it. the water. Yep, and the water was yep. able to carry it. G Birdie, I mean, you don't play Pac Man without being consistent at his water fruit setups. Like, it's. Yeah. You just don't. G Birdie walking away with game one here on uh, PS2. The, the reason they went to PS2 is because Sundra's from Cincinnati, which means PS2. My goat? This is J Birdie's music. I think the Team Galactic. Okay, um. So, this is his comfort stage. 
he has played on it more times than most people in this match. I think PS2 is everyone's favorite. Not here in Dayton. That's small battlefield. Yeah, you all are weird. But G Birdie likes this stage because it's super wide. He's a big fan of FD, Town, and PS2. Gives him tons of space to work with, keep his opponent away. He also really likes these double platforms because what happens is if he throws a Hydra down right there, he can choose to down air on either side of it and end up either underneath one platform or the other. That's dead. No, it's not. J Birdie able to air dodge out. I was expecting another up air into up B combo. Up B would have killed there? Yes, it would. Wow. Yes. That, uh, that is an insane up B. That is why a lot of people here in Dayton think that Brawler is like top 20 at worst. I, because I yeah, J Birdie has got a lot of DI on it. Uh, he doesn't like it. I mean, as we saw earlier, Pac-Man has a ton of airspeed, which if you don't know the mechanics of Smash Ultimate, actually gives you better DI. The faster you are, the more you're able to move in the air. So, uh, lesson for everyone in chat tonight. Pick a pick a fast character, like Wolf. Your DI will be insane. I'm definitely playing around uh, J. Birdie's projectiles a lot more. J. Birdie has also adapted. Oh, he was ready for that flip kick. Has adapted to uh, the really aggressive landings that Sundra has had while he's on ledge. Don't that get was, hit by that. That was that was. Close. Don't get hit I by that. I thought that was gonna hit for sure. Oh, not dead. I don't know if Sundra plays a lot of Pac-Man, but I can guarantee you that every single person here in Dayton knows the arc of that bell like they know their own character. When Jay Birdie brings out the bell, is he hit it? Hit him on the ground or in yes. the Yes. Yes. One hundred percent on the ground. He will take it on the air. But he's looking to get it on the ground so he can hit you with an F smash. Oh, there it is. Up smash is fine, but uh, oftentimes when he hits it, he really has no other choice but to like run up and do a quick thing like a like an up air. It's punched away thanks to that water. Now throw a combo. Oh. Jay Birdie. Oh. Jay Birdie's mashing. He was mashing his nair. Super fast button to oh. try and get out of this and combo. Jay Birdie's coming back with another 32%. Because for some reason, the zoner has boxing tools. Zoner's got hands in this game, and Pac-Man is the Pac quintessential oh, example. Great, he still has another side B. Chocolate. Yeah, when he's uh, gets hit out of it, he gets another one back. Nice back air. Back air, not doing it. Not with these huge side blast zones. Jay Birdie mixing it up. That was, good, that was a good upbeat. Dropper out of shield is stale. Yeah, yeah and it typically hits a lot cool. higher. Sundra's ledge trapping there was absolutely immaculate. Just taking all that percent off of Jay Birdie. Damn, I guess Fair is uh, safe enough for Sundra to hit an up air. I mean, an up he had a shield on. <laughs> the when the hydrant is rolling like that, it's still an active hitbox. Yep, I, I know. I've been hit by straw hack hit many times with that. But uh, Sundra can't say uh, he's fought a lot of Pac-Man before. Probably not aware of it. It's hit. That's an up smash. Oh, no, Jay Birdie miss. does not just position himself barely correctly. Missing. Yeah, he did position himself got just right. Probably just a little nervous. While he is cold-blooded, he's a killer. He's not infallible. Apple. Yep, he just down airs on the other side of it, and suddenly you're put in the situation where Me Brawler has no that choice. Was a, that was a great shot put by him. Jay Birdie no, definitely did not expect that. Has no choice but to uh, up B or jump over that hydrant, which is exactly what Jay Birdie was ready for. He uh, back aired over the hydrant, trying to catch Sundra out. Every single time he throws down a hydrant, that's what he's looking for. Ooh, looking for a roll. Not having it this time. All right, Sandra. I see you. Trying to go for that naughty back air. Yep, but doesn't. I love Jay Birdie's advantage state. Like, his opponent is uh, on the ledge. I'm sorry, what? Hey. I thought. E Brawler Nair. Does your taxes. Cooks your dinner. On Swanson tucks takes your, it to game three. Tucks your children in at night. Like, this, that move does everything and more. It's a kill move. It's a combo move. It's safe on shield. It checks under your bed to make sure that the monsters aren't there. <laughs> Not insane. Yep, Jay Birdie uh, much prefers this thing. It's a Whoa, no, that's a Smashville. Why are you lying to me? I'm sorry. I, I saw an Animal Crossing stage. I didn't see it exactly. Why are you lying? <laughs> that's on me. That's on me. All right. So, Jay Birdie taking him to Smashville is a really weird pick, if you ask me. Damn. All right. So, the hitbox is just able to get him through that really well. Big damage. 
Smashville is a weird pick. Um, Wild Jay Birdie does have the opportunity. He controls a ton more space. <gasps> he did an uppy to get himself out. Are you kidding me? While uh, Jay Birdie does have the opportunity to control a lot more space with Hydrant, thanks to how small this stage is, Sunder's going to be killed a lot earlier, and Ooh. I can guarantee you that. Better Mario Fireball putting in a lot of work of doing the edge guarding for Sundra here. I guess he went that way for some reason. Hydrant goes down. Lunix climbing the stage and he's looking at me. I'm up next on stream. That's exciting. I'll be out of shield. We'll be able to clean that up. Really early stock one here, actually. He's got a bell. Yes. Throw it. Throw it. That's. Damn, did not think that uh, Sundra would be able to get back to ledge, and neither did Jay Birdie, clearly. Breaking away. Yay! Dude, he just keeps throwing these uppies out of shield. I almost never see this happen against any other character. It just seems to happen a ton because Jay Birdie is always in the air right after he uh, hits Sundra's shield. Better Mario Fireball coming in, trying to edge guard again. Sundra not getting stuck there. Back air does take it at 150. Liberty doesn't need smashes nearly as much on this stage. Uh, because, as you can tell, back air is plenty. Uh -oh. Oh. All right, he's trying to do something saucy, but unfortunately, flip kick kind of makes stuff like that not possible. It's like discount flip kick, though. It's oh. better flip kick. Better? Okay. It's better flip kick. Just like he has better Mario Fireball, better Fox Nair. He's got everything. Ooh, J Birdie, I was expecting him to do a back air there, and so was uh, Sundra, which is why he did that air dodge. J Birdie actually waited him out. No oh, death! Almost air dodging back into it. That's some damage, but it's no kill. He's got a bell now. Trying to get a Nair once again. Grabs it. Pac-Man in shield with a bell. What do you do? What do you do? Oh. Nothing! Able to air dodge through it. He's... I'm so glad he didn't try to approach there. Thank you for following, Dwight. This is pretty tight. I'm really glad that Jay Birdie didn't try to follow up on that flip Falcon kick. Of, whoa, punch. all right, Falcon Punch. No fart uh, today. We're hitting a Falcon Punch. Not sure why. Falcon Punch. <laughs> Damn, Nair. Uh, Nair just kind of does it. Jay Birdie sitting on the platform. Whoa, with the bell. Zero, zero last There's stop. No, dead even. I, can, I cannot tell you. Um, how nervous Sundra gets in situations like these. J Birdie being as cold-blooded as he is often does insanely well in last stock situations. All this Ron Swanson is looking to do is kill J Birdie super early. J Birdie's super happy to sit back and just do that damage. Able to get back to stage, no sweat. Thank you, Multi. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Multi <laughs> really is my goat. <gasps> what? It is a spike hitbox, a very soft one, but it is one. Right now, j Birdie does have the stock lead. All clanking here. Man, Nair out of shield. Such a good option for both these characters. Oh, See, we know what j Birdie's looking for. He's looking for that F smash. He's got the bell. Look at all this cr- And, oh, that's no, not that's dead. not dead. Yeah, no. But the thing is, Tundra is trying to be mix around. No, he, he uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! Oh, okay. Tundra's trying to mix up where he's going to be as much as possible. Oh, is that dead? No, no not even not close. Dead. The ceilings are too high compared to... Thanks, Icon. Too high compared to the uh, stage here. No bell. He grabs it, though. He's able to react in time, and that's it! Yeah, that's it. Jeeberty walking away in a super close game three. That's the Pac-Man for you. Can we Can we talk about Jeeberty? None of that was a read. Every single thing he did there was a...